Hi, everybody. This is Father Bill Holtzinger from Holy Trinity Catholic Church. And Father Mike from St. Cecilia Catholic Church. And we are, if you couldn't tell, we're in Vernonia. See the sign there? Yeah. St. Saint Saint Mary's. St. Mary's. Uh, and we were just taking bike rides. So we have our bikes here. Actually, they're Mike's bikes. I don't have a bike. That rhymes. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> we went bike riding with Mike. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, hey, we're... Uh, it's a nice day. This is actually Monday when we are recording this, but we're looking forward into the week uh, coming forward, the weekend. And we're looking at uh, the reading from Amos, which basically says, in one sense, do not be complacent. Or get off your ivory couch and get out there. Right. You have an ivory couch? Yeah. Live justly. I don't, but it was ivory inlaid. I think they actually did have those. They found them archaeologically, which is interesting. Yeah. I cannot imagine that being comfortable in any way no it was, it was <laughs> ivory inlay so it wasn't like the whole thing was made out of ivory it was decorated oh. with ivory okay well that's that makes a whole bunch of difference <laughs> <laughs> maybe not <laughs> no, i don't know anyhow so we uh we were, were at camping at ll sub Stewart state park and mike brought his bikes and so we um biked from well part of the trail about half of it the downhill half, I must admit, because I'm not as athletic as Mike is here. Uh, in fact, are you planning to go biking later? Maybe. After lunch, we'll see. Well, what kind of biking? Mountain biking. There's some trails around here. I haven't been. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to try them out. Well, as your mother would say, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Anyway, back to our point. So, um, you know, I have to admit that I sometimes enjoy just lounging around and being complacent. Uh, having moved in just recently, and actually here as well, to our, our parishes, uh, respectively, I spent a lot of time just trying to get moved in and open boxes and such. And you actually had a lot of work, too. Oh, yeah. No lounging for <laughs> for the first couple months, at least. Yeah. yeah. So it kind of brings up some spiritual thoughts. So we are moving still. I think I mentioned in my previous video, if you watch this, that you know, fall is here and winter will be coming shortly. What are we doing to kind of keep ourselves going physically and spiritually? So you don't have to be getting on a mountain bike. You don't have to do this. Uh, but it's important to, for us to think about what are we going to do to keep ourselves going uh, physically, but also spiritually. Yeah, and I think Amos was kind of getting to the point that it's not just about getting out and just doing activity, but they were all so obsessed with taking what they could as consumers and living that decadent lifestyle uh, that it was all about them that they didn't even notice that there was needs beyond them and they had opportunity to actually do something for God following his law and his commandments and in a similar way I think that whole parable of Lazarus and the rich man talks about that as Lazarus uh, was poor and he was starving and he's begging and he's on the front and the rich man just went back and forth several times without even noticing him. And uh, it's just a reminder, if we're always inward looking and we're concerned only with ourselves and, and getting what we want as good American consumers, we're, we're failing to see where God's calling us and how we can do something for others and to be a little more outward looking. Well, and that means we also need to take care of ourselves. So as we were actually biking, we were talking about our, our health and also the history of our family and their health. Uh, determining like when there was uh, heart disease and what was going on with the previous generation and how we can choose to be different if we need to be uh, and so think about that yourself where are you being complacent uh, where is a change needed and you know the actual the consequences to these folks uh, Amos said that you'll be the first for those who are complacent will be the first to be exiled in and, and they were so yeah, they, they sent, literally were went off to Babylon and uh, yeah not not a good thing I can think about this then that day and age where they lived was their identity right and here it's like well we're not we don't belong to vernonia here yeah. but we can come here and it's a it's a vacation you could say or or visiting people didn't just do that really yeah, and amos was, was from the south he was from judah and god was calling him to go up north into israel and to prophesy to people that didn't really accept him and he he was protesting saying to them i don't even want to do this but god called him to so he had to Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, and I'm even thinking to myself, if we we're going to go biking, I'm like, okay, do I really want to do this? I say yes, but part of me says no. And the very first moment we got on the bikes, I don't know how steep that grade was, 
but it was pretty steep. Uh, and Mike's in much better condition than I am. I had to actually stop the bike and walk a little bit and then try to hoof it the rest of the way. And it wasn't really long, it was just really steep. And I started thinking, what did I get myself into? It was gonna be like that for 20 miles. Yes, but <laughs> likely it was just for like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, for 100 yards. A couple, couple minutes. <laughs> Yeah. But just, maybe that's an issue. Maybe uh, that's something that we all need to think about. Are we willing to do some of the difficult things early on so that we can uh, reap the benefits later on? Those are decisions about our lifestyles as well, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so think about those things. Yeah, you've got to put in the hard work sometimes in the beginning and then you reap the rewards afterwards. Yeah. And that's kind of like ministry. you got to be wor you got to be willing to, to kind of sacrifice and even suffer a little bit so that in the end you can see God's work being done. Well, in each of our parishes and the ministries are winding up, getting going, I know faith formation of all kinds, RCIA, confirmation, mm -hmm. my goodness, uh, your school, of course, that's been going on for a couple weeks now. Uh, I was noticing it at Holy Trinity, we have we had 150 kids signed up, seventh through 12th for confirmation. We had to split it into two different meetings, one at 4.30 in the afternoon and one right after 11.15 mass, I think it was at 12.30. Lots of people, uh, so, and we actually were struggling at Holy Trinity to have the catechists, at least as of this recording, to have enough people to help uh, with our first communion class and other things. So we've actually put a, actually a, a waiting list in place because we can't have um, these numbers without the volunteers. And we need people who are willing to give of their time and talent in, in ministries. Think about that. That's, don't be complacent. We, you are needed and you're wanted. Uh, of course, if that's your, your gift. I think right. that's yeah, and don't give up either. I think sometimes people, they say, hey, I want to volunteer. I want to do something. And then th there might be leaders that say, okay, we'll get a hold of you. But, but then in the chaos of things, they don't get around to it. So keep checking back because ultimately people who really are persistent are going to, to be able to do things. But uh, maybe the opening's not there right now, but it will be in a, in a week or so or in a month. But yeah, I'd say just don't give up. What, whatever you think God's calling you to, you know, use some discernment and, and step forward and be persistent. Well, because sometimes there's obstacles placed in our way and mm -hmm. it may be a little tough to say, are you serious about this? Right? I mean, it's, not, it's kind of like saying, going to the grocery store and saying, well, that front parking spot is not there. So therefore, I must not be called to go shopping today, even though there's no food at the house. We need to be persistent, right? I'm we gotta, hungry. I'm going to eat. Yeah, we got to find, find the right place. parking spot. Yeah, find the right place. So folks, as we move into the weekend, well, I hope that you can find something that you are being called to do, whether it be an adult ministry, a Bible study, faith sharing group, uh, maybe a volunteer in a, as a catechist of some kind. Um, but also that's in the spiritual realm and hopefully you're praying, but also get out. I mean, yeah. while the days are still, there's still sunny days out, uh, do something I would encourage you. Yeah, and try to, try to again, get the focus off of ourselves and pleasure and and the lap of luxury that that Amos was talking about and, and be considerate of what others might need even people around us our own family members our own friends uh, really it's amazing how even a few words and uh, some little uh, act of kindness can make such a huge difference to people yeah it can even be just a smile mm -hmm. in fact when you're if you're going grocery shopping or going around uh, start smiling at people <laughs> That's why Bill always smiles at me. <laughs> he wonders what I'm thinking. Of. <laughs> yeah. Hey, folks, I hope to see you this weekend at Holy Trinity or, or St. Cecilia. Okay. Take care, everybody. Right, God bless. Bye.